Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy launch day, friends. We have a huge day today. So I'm glad you're tuning in with us because not only is it a big launch, but we have a very, very special guest here today. Actually, two very special guests today. So you're gonna want to stay tuned in because you will be very excited for who our special guest is today. So good morning, who's on? Come and join us, big, big launch today. Liza's here from Blaine. I hope it's Blaine, Minnesota because that is where, my, where I'm from. And my dad was the athletic director at Blaine High School for, gosh, like forever. Um, Christina's here from Colorado Springs. Missy from Ohio. Good morning, Wade. Erica's here. I see our staff members coming on to help you guys. Kathleen's on from uh, North Carolina. So. Um, today is a big day. Not only is it a big day, not only do we have special guests, we have multiple, we actually have a couple of special guests here, um, but it's, uh, it's a huge, huge launch. So we're gonna dive in. I'm gonna try to be not long-winded. I'm gonna try to talk as fast as I can. Taylor is out today. She's a wedding, I think this weekend. So I'm gonna try to do the extra small try-ons. I know I don't do, we're trying not for me to do try-ons so I can talk and explain. So. Yes, Jen, Jen was this your request? Where's Jen Perano? I, I saw her pop up. Perfect fit ribbed tanks are back. And actually, this is where I get to start. So we're just jumping in right with this. Um, they're back and they are in new colors. Um, so we're jumping in. This is the one I'm gonna talk about first. But first, if you're tuning on for the first time, I'm just, you guys, I like, like my brain's in a million places right now, mostly because I leave town country in a couple of days. But if you're tuning in for the first time, my name is Melissa. I'm owner and designer of graceandlace.com. And we create, design and create and make women's apparel that help you look good and feel good, okay? Not only that, but we have a big give back, give back campaign. We build orphanages overseas, okay? So everything you see today is part of our fall line re releasing. We've been launching for a couple of weeks now. So perfect fit, seamless rib tanks are back. We have new jeans with this trendy line and split hem. We have some seamless style tops, which we're gonna talk about. We've got some big basic layering cardies that are super, super soft. Our workwear pants are back. Our VIP page has been asking for our, these work pants to come back for, but since before COVID. So COVID happened, we didn't create workwear. Workwear died on us because people weren't working or people were working from home and they didn't, they could wear their pajamas all day. Anyway, you guys have asked for them to come back. They're back in a new leg style in two colors. I'm gonna explain that more. This is the original fabric for those of you wondering. We have a couple blazers, also great for the workplace, okay? And most and most excitingly, uh, your guys' favorite skirt from the spring, the wildflower skirt. I cannot believe how fast Amanda turned this out. You guys, she literally did this artwork in a couple hours so that we could try to spin this, this skirt out. Sold out in a hot second in the spring. Hopefully it doesn't sell out as fast, but it is their sellout warning on that for sure because it is amazing. So we're gonna get started. We are gonna start, Jen, she brought it up. I've got my launch day tank on. That is not my standard black. I'm wearing the new, one of the new colors. So three new colors and a restock in these for you. Our perfect, tank, perfect fit tanks have been, I designed these nine years ago. Okay, we've made so many colors under the sun. We more recently, within the last year, started to make this ribbed uh, design on them. So why they are so superior than any other seamless tank on the planet is they don't roll, they don't peel, they don't crawl, they don't slide. They stay where you put them and they wash up amazingly, okay? So they are not like the seamless tanks that are cheap and you end up having to pull down all the items. These stay where you put them. Plus they are one size and they are super, super stretchy. So nice kind of just, I, I like to kind of scrunch mine, but obviously you can get more length out of them if you, if you wanted to. Um, but I kind of just wear mine scrunched and wherever I scrunch it and just let it sit and keep it there, it stays. So. The VIP page asks and keeps asking for more colors than this. So I've got on Olive, I think it's Jen who has asked us for so many years to do Olive in a tank. If it's not her, there's one of you on the VIP page that's like, please Olive. It's a really, really good, perfect olive color. This deep mustard color, more of a Dijon colored mustard in tone. Okay, nice deep mustard color. Um, there's the Olive, the one that I have on. Also a great color for Olive. 
This one will be a fan fave for sure. Hold on. Need some more hands here. Um, this one we call Purple Raisin. And it's just a really nice, deep, deep purple um, color. And then black is back. So always gotta have a black, gotta have that black staple. And they are soft, they're super stretchy. They're a closet staple. You can throw these on with cardigans. You can throw a jacket over them. There's a million, million ways to wear them. And they're that one size. So they do fit everyone extra small to extra large. Just depending on how you wanna wear it, if you wanna wear them longer or shorter, that is up to you. Um, some people, you know what, even kind of like flip these under. You can do that and even kind of shorten it up a little bit. All just depends. So, okay. Jessica says, thank you so much for the raisin tank. I've been waiting for that one for years. Raisins perfection. The jewel tones are great. All of these tones, you guys, all of them, um, all three are like, they're really, really perfect colors, especially for layering this time of year. So as we talk about and getting into those these temperatures where you need a cardi or need a jacket or need a layer, even in cold AC, okay? This is a great base layer and a way to just kind of style going in forward um, to the fall season, okay? Let's bring the girls out. Everyone's in one size. Taylor's not here, but I am obviously between extra small and small. This is the one size on me, so you can see. Missy's here, one size on her. She's got the purple raisin on. You guys, this is how you make easy outfits going into fall. Just throw a cardi over them. Wear them underneath if you need a layer under a sweater. Perfect for that too. They're so great. They stay close to your body. They don't grow. They don't relax with wear. They just stay nice and snappy to you without being too compression feeling, okay? So Missy in the one size, I'm in the one size. We're just gonna bring out what we can so we can show you them on, on as many people as we can, okay? So same thing here. Great idea, great way to just throw a cardi over knees. We're gonna talk about that cardi a little bit launching today, okay? But you can see, just kind of sits where you put it. You can make it longer, make it, make it shorter, and it stays there, comfort to wear all day okay and then Michelle in this one I'm, I'm rushing them through because I know we have a big one okay um, and then Michelle in the black totally staple black in your closet throw it on with a jacket you don't have to think about your outfit for the day that's it okay perfect way to wear it okay one size on all of us and our special guest is here she's gonna come on she's not a guest you guys just haven't seen her in a really really long time okay Amanda's here she's back well, no, she's not back from maternity leave. She's still on maternity leave, but she had her baby boy. He's the cutest thing. I'll bring him out. I'll okay, him out. okay. I was like, they're gonna want to see him. He's so stinking cute. So she is like, hey, I. What did we have to beg you? No. <laughs> I was like, can you come back? No. She was. She was totally like, can I pop on the live? So we're so thankful. She came. She's still on her maternity leave. You guys wait till you see this baby. He's darling. So anyway, you probably missed her. We missed her more, but you guys missed her too. So she's got it on with a brand new baby. Okay, she looks fabulous, right? Look at them all, Amanda, good to see you. We've, we've like missed her more than I can even tell you we have missed her, but obviously she's she is being a mommy to her brand new baby boy, so. I know, she looks fabulous, okay. So we love having her back in and we're glad. We're so glad she was willing to make an appearance for us. Okay, we are moving on to the front slit jeans. These are the jeans that I've on. I'll back up and show you a little bit. So here's the thing with these, you guys. This is a new style for you, probably jean in your closet. Some of you probably might say, I recognize this jean from many, many years ago, okay? Fashion repeats itself. All fashion repeats itself, and that's so crazy to think about. But this is the trend jean going into the fall, okay? It is the front slip, front seamed, front slit style, okay, so it has the high front slit style in here. As you can see on me, it is intended to split and show your boots, okay? That's really what this is supposed to do and how it's supposed to sit. So it gives you the look of a little bit of a flare, like a slight flare, but really it just opens enough to split that, to split at your ankle and to show your boots. So I have, you guys have seen these boots on me for eternity. <laughs> My ultimate, ultimate favorite pairs. But this is exactly how I would wear these. At 5'5", five, five, they just touch the ground for me so you can see on here. They just kind of drop and hang. The material has stretched. The wash on these is great. It's a pretty like, I think we call it, I don't know if we call it aged or something like that, but it's got, it's your mid blue without a, without a ton of contrast. So you can see on me, um, 
you get some whispering and a little bit of fading, but really we wanted the seaming work down the leg to really, to really give off the detail in these jeans. So we didn't bleach this out. We didn't go high contrast. So you really, really get an even style coloring of denim, which makes it so diverse, you know, makes it, how do I say that? <laughs> have diversity <laughs> in what you style with it, okay? So the material does have stretch. It is gonna feel like the, uh, when you put them on, you'll want a snug fit. They are a comfort fit in your normal size. So if you're between two sizes, you might wanna go down in these. I'm between, I'm usually a four, sometimes can be a two, especially in grace and lace. And things that are a roomier fit or that have um, more of a comfort fit, I can go down in. So if you can go down in some of our denim, you might wanna go down in these. They do relax a tad with wear, so keep that in mind. So if they're a snug fit when you first put them on, that's probably perfect because, of, because they do relax slightly with wear. Okay, so you got that little bit of fading, the seaming down the front, the split at the ankle, um, and then of course the pockets in the back, little Gina logo, which is like classic to our Grace and Lace designs, okay? <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, where was she said, I'm staying on to wait. I'm waiting for the baby <laughs> to go on. Okay. Um, this, some, if you wanted to, if you weren't crazy, some people are like, I love the seaming. The seaming is very flattering and it definitely makes a statement in your jeans because not many jeans have that center seam. If you weren't the biggest fan, and I'm just throwing this out there, if you're not the biggest fan in the split, you technically could whip stitch that split closed, <laughs> okay? I know some of our VIPs ask often if they can do stuff like that. So if you wanted them to be a little bit narrow or if you wanted to close it up, you could do that by hand or any seamstress would be able to close that up um, and stitch that down if that was just your preference. I like the slit. The slit is definitely a trend. The front slit like this makes it different than probably other denim that you have in your closet, but just kind of keep that in mind, okay. Let's bring out the girls, okay. Um, yes, Rachel, I would say if whatever size you wear like in our barely boots or our waist tie flares, I would do in these. So um, if you, some people size down in those and if you size down in those, I would also size down in these. I would say their fit is very similar to our waist tie flares and our barely boots. Okay, Missy in these. How tall are you again? I am 5'4". Okay. I would size down in these. Okay. Five, four, uh, did you size down in them now? Or I is this, not, okay, no. so this is her normal size, which is a six, or are you eight in these? Eight is normal, and I'm an eight right now, I go to a six. Okay, so this is very helpful. She, scoot, scoot up for me a little bit so they can okay. see. <laughs> so she would, she is in the eight now, and she would go to the six. And last week, I think you went to the six as well, I right? I did. Two? Okay, so if you sometimes size down, or if you're between sizes, or not even that, but sometimes they're, the roomier jeans people do like to size down and this would be one to do that. And then for her height, she would either do a higher heel or she could get that easily hemmed to shorten that inseam a little bit uh, for her at her height. So that's an option too, okay? Is that helpful for you guys? How long is the split I need to hem them? I don't have a measuring tape, but you know what? Our uh, team can help you with that on our VIP page. So Belinda, ask that over on our VIP page and they'll get that information from a uh, tech designer. Okay, who's up next? And Natalie, I still forget that I can look over here. <laughs> Natalie's up next in these cases. So she's keeping that kind of same look on. You're in your normal size 10, okay? And she has a, com it's a nice comfort fit for her, right? Do you think you size down? I don't know. Okay. These you are like, good. Yeah, yeah, she likes hers to be a little bit more on the comfy side. So some people like their jeans tighter, some like them a little bit looser. That's gonna be your preference on if you go up or down in these. Um, in your normal size, it will have a very just nice, comfortable fit, not a very suck you in fit, okay? Is this helpful? Can we wear the same? Yes, Beth, I would order the size that you like in the waist high flares, yes. Pamela, great suggestion. They absolutely can be raw cut. So if you didn't want to take them to a seamstress, which a seamstress can keep this hem, I think it's called a French hem. They can keep the original hem and you never know that they're altered. Okay, that's, um, so they can bring that up or you could easily just raw cut this off and kind of have that fray on the bottom if you wanted to do that too, okay? All right, next is Michelle in these and she's in 10. 10. Size down. Okay, so she sized down. So you guys, you've been on this journey with us of her being in 16s, right? 14s, her standard size now is 12. She's down to a 10. She's disappearing in front of our eyes. <laughs> okay, so between two sizes, she went down in these. So they do have that give, they do have that comfort fit, and that's where we're saying some of you might prefer to size down in this. Okay, 
helpful. Let's see. Oh yeah, we'll talk about the cardigans in a second, okay? I know you're seeing some of them come up on those, okay? Um, I am wearing the two. So between two sizes, definitely go down. Some of you who went down in barely boots or waist high flares, that's a good example. If you own either of those and whatever size you like in those, I would do in these as well, and I am in the two. Hey, Michelle, Cami is 5'11", okay? And then Amanda, and she brought the baby. You guys, look at this little guy. So, you have to come up closer. Oh, no, to see. Look at, he's looking at the lights. Look at him, he's so cute. He's angry about it. He's like, wait, why do I have to be on camera? Oh my gosh, this little Knox, he's so cute. So she brought him in. Everyone is like on babysitting duty. They're like, we want this to be our job. Okay, uh, what's hers again? 16. Okay, 16 on her. She just had a baby. So staying in your normal size, she's, that's a comfortable fit on her, I would say, in that size. So you're gonna have a little bit of room in these and they do have stretch, so some people might be able to size down. Okay, isn't he adorable? His name is Knox, he's so, so cute. He's, and his little bald head, isn't it adorable? It's like a little old man in a little body, it's so cute. Um, we don't ever want him to leave. The girls up in the design room are like, can we, can we have like a baby room up here where these babies come and stay? Okay, let's move on. Any other questions on this? If you have any questions that I'm not getting to, make sure you go to our Facebook VIPs page, Grace and Lace VIPs on Facebook. The girls there are super helpful. If they don't know the answer, they know how to find the answer. Um, so make sure if you have a question that we're missing on here or not answering, to hop over there and they can help you, okay? Ever soft square neck top is next, okay? The whole thing with this is that we wanted to design a top that looked and felt like a bodysuit, but wasn't a bodysuit. And also, in addition to that, we used the best fabric on the planet that gives you a nice slimming look and feel, but is so, so soft and stretchy. Plus, I'm not done yet, okay? Plus, we double lined the front. So, for those of you who maybe are a little bit concerned about more fitted style tops, because fitted style tops can show lumps and bumps, we all know that, right? This, we did a full panel on the front bodice that is let me see if I can show you. It's double lined in the same material. So what's great about it is you really get this seamless look, okay? Like not what I'm having right now in this style of a top, but it's nice and clean and nice and fitted and gives you a smoothing effect. So if you're like a little bit of like, is this gonna show my lumps and bumps? That's what's great. No, it doesn't show your lumps and bumps because of that, okay? Two colors in this, olive, and then we call this a berry fuchsia, okay? Um, the square neck design is, we talked about that a couple weeks ago, square neck is a big, big trend for a neck shape right now, and it's flattering on everyone. Small bust, big bust, wide shoulders, narrow shoulders, okay, really, really flattering. Uh, Victoria did a notch neck in that square neck in this, the material is heaven. Let's, let's do this. Think about, think about your loggers, okay? Your live-in leggings as a top. That is this material, very, very soft, nice and stretchy, and has that buttery, buttery hand feel. Those of you who aren't familiar tuning in who don't know what I'm talking about with loggers, our loggers are famous. They're one part legging, one part jogger, and they are the made of the softest, stretchiest material ever. Um, and so are our live-in leggings. That material, think of that in a top. This is what that is. Now, if you don't want as fitted, in your normal size, you will get a nice fitted look. It won't be compression, suck you in, but it will be nice and fitted. If you're between sizes and you want something a little less fitted, you can go up if you're between sizes and you want it to look like that true bodysuit fitted type of style, then go down. You have a lot of room in this in stretch, but it is a fitted style and intended to be one to look like a bodysuit, but not have the bodysuit body bottom, <laughs> which allows you to wear it out or tuck it in very easily. Okay. Um, I'm going to throw this one on for you. Maybe I should do the olive because I'm just gonna do it over my tank. This is gonna probably be really interesting with multiple layers, but it helps that I um, probably am not step stepping off camera, so I can just put this on really quick for you guys, okay? So, it, it's that stretchy, stretchy material, so you're gonna have to kind of ignore, right? <laughs> Here we go. And the fact that, you know, you're not really supposed to wear a ribbed tank underneath this, but it is gonna show you what type of, well, 
I was gonna try to hide my tank, but that's just not gonna work, okay? <laughs> but you get this really, really nice, and honestly, you just can't really see that seamless type of effect because I have the tank on. But if I did have, with the tank on and with it not being like double layered or having that effect, you would be able to see like ribbing through it and you can't because it does really give you that clean type of slate <laughs> as far as like um, fit to really, really make it nice and seamless on the body. Okay, so this is extra small. This is the size that I prefer for, um, I wish I could show you because I would tuck this in, um, but, but I, can't, I can't tuck it in with my tank. So I would wear it, Marie, I know you just asked. I would wear this size. This is like, ignore that I have a huge tank underneath. This isn't helping you guys at all, I don't think. Um, I love this tucked in, and I'll show this on my stories. I love the extra small tucked in with the look of being a bodysuit. If I wanted a looser top, Oh man, you guys, I'm just like digging myself a hole with this because <laughs> if I wanted a looser style top, maybe to wear out or to not have as tight a fit being between sizes, I would go up. So I think really the, the choice or decision factor on what size you go with if between sizes is just if you want it to look more like that bodysuit type of fit or if you want it a little bit relaxed. So you'll see the girls in here. Let's just go ahead and bring them out and I'm gonna take this off because this is kind of pointless that I have it on over a tank. Okay, Missy and this one. Are you in your normal size small? I'm in a small. Okay, and this, so this is, this looks fabulous and this is a good example for you to see on her. So she doesn't have it tucked in, double lined on the front and it just, that fits, that fits her perfectly without being too tight, too snug. You're really going to get, if you're between sizes, that's where you'll decide if you want the tighter fit or the, the um, going up to get a looser fit. But in your normal size, being a standard size small for us, she has a basic nice fit without being compression um, that she can wear out or in and that looks fabulous on her. Okay. Okay. I hope I bought all the right sizes. I love the launch So thank you, Sean Marie. Um, can we see the next size up? Yes, if someone, I'll have one of the girls send down a small. I think I only have extra smalls here, so you can see. Actually, you know what, who asked that? Whoever asked that, I will make sure to put both on my try-on stories today. I don't know if that's helpful, but it'll be easier to see than with a tank and this not working out too well. Okay, Natalie in this one, okay. Normal size? Medium. Okay, normal size, medium. So, she does not have a snug, super snug fit in this one. She's, she's narrower through the waist, but she has a good, like it's close to your body without being confining. So I would say this looks fabulous on her for being a true to size and not being like, uh, necessarily looking like a tight bodysuit because she's got a nice amount of room through the waist. If she did want it to look more of a bodysuit, she could size down, but I would say she's not gonna want to. <laughs> because this looks, this looks perfect on her. So in your normal size, you'll have a nice fitted tee type of look, if that helps. If you're between sizes and you go down, that's when you're gonna get um, more of that fitted, more bodysuit type of style. Okay, is this, hel is this helpful? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd like to see looser size on the models to see. So they're all, the models are all coming out in their normal size and their normal size hasn't looked like what sizing down um, being between sizes looked. So if that helps, I don't know. Here we go. <laughs> Michelle on this. Michelle went up. Uh, nope. No, you like stayed. It. Okay, she stayed. We were talking about, she was like, I don't know if I'll go up or not. Yeah. It just is really, the material is so forgiving and so stretching, plus being the double lined. It's really just going to depend on how much you want to use the stretch if you go up or down. So staying in your normal size, you have a nice, just close to body fit without being tight or confining. Does that help? Does this help you guys? <laughs> What's the idea? Linda, front tucks? Linda says, what's the idea behind front tucks? Front tucks has been a thing for tucking your shirts, front tucking them for, gosh, I don't know, three, four years maybe now. So front tucking is, that's a thing. It's a, it, it's a style. <laughs> you don't have to tuck in the back. You can tuck things all the way around, but front tucking with t-shirts, with, I front tuck all the time. It's just, it's how everything, everyone's doing it now, okay? Amanda in this one, ah, oh, you look so good. Okay, fabulous. Normal, extra large on her. And you guys have seen the mix of the two colors. So we're giving you kind of two different options, bright and vibrant, and then this kind of good olivey green, which obviously goes with a lot. So square neck is flattering, nice stretch on her without being like, you know, suck you in or confining. 
Okay. Victoria says the front tuck is at least 10 years for me. I didn't know I was going to say it's longer than three or four. It's been around longer than that. Okay. Okay. Any other questions on this one? If you did want to see both sizes on me, I'm, I don't have them down here. Um, and now that it's just not as handy for me to do changes. So, um, all of my stories, I'll have the girls remind me to try to put a small on for you. The small on for me looks like a loose, um, kind of like it did on, um, Natalie, just kind of a little bit more loose and, um, more of a casual style top than a fitted top, okay? Okay, where do I, where am I going now? The buttery soft cocoon cardi. We always try to do a home run design in a cardi for fall because to me, there's nothing better than a comfortable, casual, super soft cardi um, when temperatures start to cool off because I'm a big layer girl. I like to layer. I like to make sure that I'm like not too hot, not too cold, so I've always got layers on. This one is a home run style for that easy throw on, pop it on with whatever you have um, on to just give you a comfortable, easy, oh my gosh, you guys, I, I'm just gonna stop talking. I wish I could just put this on all of you because it literally is like, look at this. Can you tell how this material drapes and hangs? Okay, it's cozy, it's brushed, it's soft. It's got this contrast rib detailing here at the neck has the pockets in the front, nice deep pockets for you there, has the little contrast here um, as well at, at the wrist, and then it's that nice just dolman style. So when you're at home and you want something to throw on and you've got your comfy clothes on and you've got your wide leg, you've either got your leggings or your wide leg, okay? Your wide leg, th that, I'm describing how I will wear that. In fact, I am taking a very long flight in a couple of days to Italy and I'm just contemplating wearing this in my wide leg um, live in leggings because there's, there's just nothing better than a cardi that's soft and drapey. And so Dolman style gives you this kind of bat wing type of effect, which is just made to be comfortable, okay? Drape and hang, drop on your body. It has stretch, deep pockets, and then three colors in this. We call this one, hold on, it's got like a different name. <laughs> It's called um, Blushing Fawn, and that's because it's a neutral, it's a neutral like taupey tan. I, it's, showing, it's showing up right, which is why our lighting is so good right now. Yay, round of applause, right? Um, and it's heathered, and so it has like a slight tinge, like undercast of a pink, like a blushing, okay, fawn being that light um, taupey color, and then the light, just very, very hint of a light pink, but very neutral, okay? So, um, it does not have a set in sleeve, so you guys know that when there's not a set in sleeve, there's not a shoulder fit, which is a lot of what creates size, but this style, we didn't want to get too big through the hip. You get the big and the nice width, comfortable width through the sleeve on this, so we kept it a nice straight fit through the hip. So, I am between an extra small and a small, and this is the extra small on me, and this is the size that I prefer. So I would say you can size down in this, you should size down in this if you're between sizes, and you probably can size down a full size in this as long as you're not hippie, or carry, um, carry your weight in your hips, that's where you're gonna get too tight uh, for this style. So kind of keep that in mind. Stay in your normal size, between go down. Some people might be able to go down a full size in this, but they're gonna get they try to go down a full size um, and you're curvy, this won't, this won't fit you right. So, see you on the side, okay? Um, it's a super light, Jessica, it's, it's more to the taupe side, has a little bit of that mushroom undertone with like just a little type, just a little tinge of, of a pink, a little bit, and only in some lighting. Uh, what it looks like indoors with the indoor lighting right now is Exactly, like <laughs> it looks exactly true to light. Some lights are gonna give off a little bit more of a hint of pink, but it's really that kind of just nice warm taupe. And then the other color is, I think we called it, do we call it cinnamon? Perfect, yes. Cinnamon, perfect for fall. This, the contrast ribbing on that too, so you can see pockets and at the wrist. You guys, this material, I don't know that we've ever done, the girls are over here, they're literally, <laughs> Both of them are going like this the whole time I'm talking because you have not, we, we make, here at Grace and Lace, we make some pretty darn soft materials. I think we have outdone ourselves. Okay, so think of your um, snow day. Those of you who've been with us for a while, softer than your snow day. 
Can it even be done? Your snow day pullovers, right? Okay, nope, you're, I'm blowing mines, right? You didn't think you could get softer than your snow day. It's very, very close to a snow day material, but even somehow software, okay? Melanie, if you're joining us for the first time, welcome. Um, Grace and Lace is our brand, and everything I'm showing you today is Grace and Lace, our brand. So <laughs> we make everything. There's our label, and you can shop it all at graceandlace.com. She asked what brand they are. They're Grace and Lace, okay? And then for those of you black, you gotta have a black cardi, and you gotta have a really nice, comfortable black cardi. You, this is gonna be your one. I wanna see pictures. Will you guys, the, the girls give it, we get a report from our VIP page. Um, and I love when you guys share in there. That always makes us up to the lead, make things from there, make it up to us on the lead team anyway. Um, but I love when you share these. So I want to see um, how you wear this. This is going to be, this can easily be like your get home from work, you throw your work clothes off and you just want something comfy to wrap up in, okay? But this can also be styled easily. You saw some of the girls with the square neck top. You can wear this with jeans. You could wear this with dress pants. It's one of those styles that you can keep this on your desk chair, like the back of your desk chair at work, when you just need a easy light layer um, to put on, okay? <sighs> Kathleen says you had me at softer than snow day. Kathleen, you, d I, it is. <laughs> it is, okay? Let's, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna bring the girls up. Okay, missing this. Okay, seriously, it, it's, the, it's not too heavy, not super, super warm, has a good warmth to it, has a good hand to it, drapes well, does have stretch, but it really is that just nice, soft, if you need something cozy to put on, if you're even, if you're in the AC and you need something a little bit warmer, but this is like a good go-to type of Cardi just to throw on, okay? Um, small or extra small? Small. Small, okay. Stay, I would really stay in your normal size. Following, I think you'll see most of us in your normal size because of the hip fit on this. We didn't want to get this too oversized and sloppy. So while you'll feel that oversized type of feature through the sleeve, unless you're really narrow through the hip, other than that, or between sizes you can size down, or narrow through the hip, you could go down. Otherwise, stay in your normal size, okay? Cheryl says, I love my snow days. <laughs> I love the material. Um, I'm Melda, the color to get is tough. If you're a neutral girl, this is your, if you're black, hands down, black goes with anything. Neutral, uh, if you tend to be towards the neutral tones, want something a little bit lighter. If you're one of those girls that's like pumpkin spice latte all the way and you're really wanting this for fall vibes, the cinnamon's the way to go on this one. Okay, uh, Natalie in this. Okay, this is this will probably be something like my um, I don't 12 hour flight 18 I don't even know how long my flight is but uh, to Italy in a couple of days outfit because comfortable cold on an airplane need the layers um, this is it okay lounge at home weekend looks car pick up okay picking your kids up at school I don't know but comfortable drop off pick up and just need that layer. Perfect for that. And Natalie, you're in your normal size. Medium, yep. Yes. April, yes. Everything I'm showing is at graceandlace.com. Click on new and it's there. Okay. All right. Uh, Michelle and this. So cute. Graphic tee, pair of cops, sandals because it's still 106 degree <laughs> degrees here, but cold in the AC and wanting a layer, put it on with a graphic tee. Perfect for that. Large yes. on her. Uh -huh. Large on her. Okay. And Amanda. Okay. Ah, she did the tone on tone. Look at that, super cute. If you wanted to style it up a little bit, throw it on with a pair of jeans to get, go with a tone and tone type of look and you kind of have a little bit more pulled together type of look than just like an at-home Cardi. It, you can easily dress that up, okay? Okay, um, so many questions. Sarah, I'm not able to have the girls do size changes because they have to run upstairs super fast, super fast to do their changes. If you have a size request on a particular model, hop on over to our VIP page and ask on there. These girls, keep in mind, you guys, our models are Grace and Lee staff members who have really vital jobs um, here. So they volunteer their time, their normal work hours to come and do this for us. So we try to get, try to accommodate you every time I can, but but they do, we will give them a little bit of a putt. Uh, uh, we give them a little bit of a, um, we like, you know, can we, can we get a quick picture of you in this? So if you have a request, we will try our best to get that from you. Okay, extra small on me. This is the size that I prefer. Small gets a little bit more oversized for me and I feel like I already get that oversized um, vibe from the dolman sleeve on this. So between sizes, I would suggest going down. Between, between an extra small and a small and I go down to the extra small. Um, the small would give me more coverage if you wanted to get a full, if I wanted to get a full overlap in the panels. Um, 
but I think this is a perfect, perfect fit and how I prefer to wear it. So between sizes, I do prefer sizing down to the extra small. Hey, okay. okay. Um, cinnamon with a green tank, so pretty. Um, any other questions on this? They are all, except for the black, they are all heathered. I don't know if I showed you that. So you get that two-toned, um, you get that two-toned effect in this and in this. See how it's like two tones of that kind of cinnamon color. The black is solid. So the black does not have the, um, the two-tone effect on it, but you kind of see a little bit of the con a little bit of contrast color in the um, ribbing. Okay, up next, Fab Fit work pant in the straight leg. Um, I don't even know how many years it's been now, but the Fab Fit work pant we designed in a pull-on style, the OG, the original. We decided. Does anyone have the pull-on style? Any raise of hands? Does anyone have the pull-on, the original, the OG <laughs> um, Fat Fit Work Pan? Was a pull-on style that we created in the most amazing, nice and thick, stretchy material that is very classy, okay? So talk about uh, the comfort of wearing like a legging, but you're absolutely not um, a legging. It's much, much thicker than a legging, okay? Um, that was a pull-on style. Oh, look, they're saying, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. They <laughs> have the pull-ons. Um, the following years after that, we created a non-pull-on style with a functional zipper and button. We had to change the weight of the material a little bit. And our VIP page said, we like the, we like the weight of the pull-on style a little bit better. So we had gone a little bit lighter in the material in, you guys remember the skinny straight, remember the skinny leg with the slit, and we also did boot cut, okay? So if you have one of those pairs, this is not exactly those. This material is back to our original material, which is that little bit thicker, a little bit more stable, still has stretch, okay? Um, material. So it's they were very similar. It was just that the weights were slightly different. Now, this style is a new leg in the original material. <laughs> and by new leg, it's also in the new updated functional button and zipper fly. So like the original, but you have your functional, you guys, these, these, these are the most quality work pants that you can have for this price. Honestly, I need to be charging closer to $80 for these with the quality that they are. It's insane, okay? The craftsmanship is fabulous. The fit is fabulous, okay? You have the double secured button in the back, the hidden back here. You've got the uh, bar tab, I forgot. Put closure right here. Functional zipper, functional pockets in the front, and the back pockets are faux welt pockets. So here's the deal. I have told you guys, I don't love pocket bags showing through pants that are a little bit tighter, especially pants that I'm wearing for the workplace. So this is a faux back pocket made to look like a back pocket, but it's not a pocket and therefore does not have the shape of your pocket bag on your butt, okay? <laughs> Make me layer, okay? So it's got belt loops if you need to style it with a boot. Uh, or a belt, and then we did a straight leg on this. In the past, we only did a real slim leg, like a skinny leg, and in the past, we did a boot cut. So this is a lot, this is more of a straight leg coming down, which the straight leg is a big thing right now, and honestly, really, really perfect for a work pant. Fit on this is very true to size. The material does have stretch, but it is a snug fit, very true to size. Keep that in mind. If you want your fit to not be as snug, I would suggest sizing up in these, okay? Stay in your normal size if you know you like a snug fit, if you know what size you liked in your pull-on style, okay, or, your, or the style that we've done in more recent style since. They are a snug fit. They're made to be very flattering and snug on the body. The material has a ton of stretch, so keep that in mind. If you are a little bit like, well, I want mine to not be as snug. I want them to be super comfortable. Some of you might prefer to size up. This is not a style I would really suggest sizing down in. The, the truth is most people can probably wear two sizes, if not three in this because of the stretch. It's just gonna, if you slice down in this, you're gonna get a real legging style look, okay? So this, this gives you, in your normal size, you're gonna get very fitted. Going up will get you a little bit looser. Let's see what the girls prefer. Let's bring them out, okay? Missy and these. 
Do you see your normal size? I actually don't know. Okay, <laughs> which, let me see. My notes probably tell you. I just like cheated and I don't. Okay, um, size eight. Okay, okay, so size eight. Very comfortable. And you, okay, and you feel like that's a good size? It's a great size. Okay, okay. so it's, it's gonna be fitted through, you know, you'll have your comfort fit through the waist, through the waistband, you'll come down through the leg and have a little bit fit through the leg, and then you'll go straight. See how flattering this straight leg is on her. Whether you wear it with a flat, whether you wear it with a heel, she's got a little bit of a heel on, it just lines straight up and falls straight down. That's perfect, and not getting that flare or not getting that boot cut, you really have the nice leg presentation in this, okay? Normal size eight on her, okay? No, Joanne, we haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> um, the bottom hem cami looks like this. Can you guys see? It's hemmed at the bottom. It can easily be turned over and hemmed again. If you take this to a seamstress, the material is really, really nice and thick, okay? And it does, uh, it does have stretch, and it's a really, really nice thick weight for a work pant, okay? Okay, next is Natalie in these. Normal size? Mm -hmm. Okay, normal size in these. She looks fabulous, okay? So um, pockets, leg length. The other thing about this fabric is you're gonna get a little bit of, well, you'll have four-way stretch in this. So you can kind of work with the length a little bit to elongate or retract it, depend on what your um, inseam length is. It does allow it to retract and kind of come back up a little bit. Okay, so normal size on her. Um, let me see. It is Michelle, yes, it's similar to a Ponte. It's much better than a Ponte though. So a Ponte is a type of um, the, the weave technique that they do. It's not that, but it, uh, it's honestly superior, <laughs> superior to it. But it would be similar-ish in the type of style or weight as that, okay? Um, Michelle in these. I'm coming to crank it through. She's got the navy on. We didn't even take about, talk about two colors. VIP asked us to make a navy. VIP page did, I don't know, four or five years ago. Here you go. Here's your navy. Looks really good paired with this um, fuchsia, fuchsia top. Normal size, 12, or did you go? Okay, so 12. They do also, um, they, really, they hold their shape pretty, pretty well, but you will get a little bit of give on them after you come out. You know how sometimes we talk about that with leggings? Once you get leggings up on your body, they warm up to your body a little bit and kind of be like, oh, I can conform to this shape. So you will get just a little bit of like, when you first put them on, they're warm up to your body temperature and just let, just relax down a little bit, but still keeping in mind, they are very, very true Fit size, okay, true to size fit, however we say that. <laughs> we're gonna end these. You guys are seeing the pink blazer come out a couple of times. We're gonna come, yeah, we're gonna talk about that in a second. Tucked in, I should make everyone wear workwear to, to the office, okay? They all look so good dressed up. Like maybe I need to change dress code because they all look so good. So, I mean, honestly, you guys, with black and with uh, your normal size 16, right? Yes. Okay, normal size 16 on Amanda. Okay, she needs to look fabulous. She literally just had a baby, like what, two months ago? Yeah, Two, eight, weeks today. eight weeks, eight weeks ago today. I don't know how you look good that good after having a baby in eight weeks. I did not. Two colors in this. Um, like I said, this. Now I, I will say the the light is hitting this blue a little bit bright. Okay, so just that's just because there's lights right here. So it's not this. It looks a little bit cobalty um, to you guys, but it is a nice dark, deep navy color. It's the perfect navy color, okay? Ask Amanda, she picked Pantone. And then black is back, okay. Excited about these charcoal necks, please. Here's the thing, I told the design team I wanted to make these in four colors. I was shot down. <laughs> I was not allowed to make them in four colors. Not by the design team, but by our merchandising team and lead team and all those kind of stuff who people that, you know. Anyway, I wanted to make them in four colors. I knew you guys love these. It's just been a while. We don't know how many of you are back to work. We don't know how many people wear work pants still. We don't know how many jobs like us in Austin, Texas, you can wear whatever you want. So they, they cut me down to two. These are the two colors I picked. I am mindful that if you guys, um, if this is a, if we've proven that this is a home run, home run style for us again, even though it's been several years, we will do our best to come back in other colors again. We're just trying to step our foot into workwear again, uh, kind of casually because uh, we got a little burnt on it, a lot burnt on it when COVID happened um, and, he, and the world shut down working, okay? We just, we lost tons of money on our workwear line. So we're being a little cautious. I'm glad they reined me in to be a little cautious, okay? Um, let's go, let's see. Yeah, so, and Victoria just said, she said our law office went totally casual after 20, 
20. So she's wearing jeans. So we don't know. We'll see. Your sales, how many of you buy them, will tell us if we need more or not. And obviously, you can keep hollering at us on the VIP page, too, um, because they real, really are fabulous, okay? Natalie says, I wear a six in Mel's faves, but an eight in a lot of the Capri and denim shorts. Um, if you went with a six, Natalie, they're going to be very snug. They're going to fit more like a legging. So if you want them to fit more like a legging on you, then I would say yes. Ooh, but I would probably say you might be more comfortable in the eight. All right, let's move on to, the girls are doing like supersonic speed changes and I, I, they're doing amazing, okay? Pocketed fashion blazer. This is a new blazer um, style, fully lined. Trend type of, tri type of style with a long lapel, front pockets here at the front. Here you can see the lining on the inside. And then we wanted two pop colors for this. So really, really bright hot pink and then in with a coral blue, okay? We tried to do, we thought about doing three. Um, this isn't gonna look good with my olive tank, but I'm still gonna put it on <laughs> for you. We thought about doing, um, a couple more colors in this, but honestly, again, kind of same situation where we just didn't know how many, you know, blazer fans that we have or blazer wearing people. But if you're not a blazer wearing fan or person or workwear, it's still a great option for you to have um, to dress up. I think the style right now of wearing this with denim, even distressed denim, okay, people wear them with sneakers. You don't have to just wear this as a suit. It definitely is a style to wear this um, casual and as a layering piece uh, with a pair of denim, okay? So Lucy said I bought this immediately. <laughs> this is the same. Sherry, it's not the same as the melon. The melon blazer is, uh, same, I mean, similar. It's different material. Okay, the material has like a little bit, you, you, can, you should, I don't know if you can tell. It's different material. It's more of kind of like a drapey satin. It, it's not satin, but it's like satin-ish type of material in terms of how it lays on the body. And then the inside has that um, material there. So I like to cuff the sleeves, makes it a little bit casual. I would not pair the olive cami underneath this, but we're going with it just so you can see fit on me. The fit is a trend fit, and that's what we call this. So the blazer trend right now is to be a little bit more on the oversized type side of look, not necessarily as tailored. Um, it wouldn't call it oversized. I would call it casual or trend fit. Okay, so between sizes, I can go down to the extra small. I do get a little bit of tension through my shoulders. That's normal. My shoulders are not an extra small. My shoulders are more of a small. So I get uh, tight through the, the shoulders and the across back. But I think I would still wear this size um, because, uh, you know, the arms do still allow for movement, but I can feel it hang, hang up a little bit in my shoulders, okay? Um, let me see. What else in this one? You can see the length, you can wear it with jeans, you can wear this with, work, you could do it with work pants, do a cami underneath it. There's so many options you can do with this. And then again, of course, it does have pockets. Okay, let's bring the girls out. I feel like I'm, I'm talking to make sure they have time to get dressed. Okay, let me see this one. She's got the trend fit look, or the trend look outfit, okay? This is the distressed jeans, she got the bodysuit, threw on the blazer, we even cuffed her up a little bit because that gives that little bit of just extra oomph to your outfit, okay? And then normal size small? Yes. And that's normal size small on her. So most people are gonna be best fit in this in their normal size, especially as you get up in the size range on this. If you're between an extra small and a small, you might be able to go down, especially if narrow sh shoulders, but up in your medium large, extra large, you'll probably prefer to stay in your normal size in this way, okay. Does the pink go with the skirt? Good question, Tara. Look at that. Okay, you can see that pink in there. There's that pink in there. I would say so. Okay, Natalie in this, in her normal size, right? Yes. yes, okay. So you can see it's just, it's made, there's no button, so it's not made to close. That is also another difference. It's not, not made to close, it's just made to stay and made to hang. So it's kind of seen as a layering, a dress up layering piece a little bit. Okay, so just made to hang, just made to sit, not really, really made to close or anything like that. Okay, normal size on it. And her, any other questions? Diane, there's not a additional pocket on the inside. Your pockets are right here. So. I have my phone right here, and I can show you just dropping it in there, okay? So, 
Put it on in there, not, not, no pockets on the inside. Okay, Michelle in this one. Ooh, this is a fun look. Look at the all white with a pop of uh, cobalt. Okay, really pretty. Doesn't she look so tan too? <laughs> that really just pops off that, let that pop off the color. Compare that with black. We have Cami coming for that. Like there's a bunch of different options that you can do with either of these. Don't do the green. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bear the green like I have on, okay? Uh, at least that was on Michelle. Michelle, I went with extra large? No, nope, large. Oh, okay. That was another one that Michelle could do either in. Again, for kind of the shoulder uh, tension on that. A little bit more comfortable in the shoulders um, if you're broad shouldered, if you stay in your normal size, okay? Um, oh, you're Bobby. He was fussy. Look at him. He's so cute. Well, you saw her come out. Hopefully, you could. Lots of times. Like, yeah. Sorry. So, extra large on her. And then Michelle can do extra large or large. She has a little bit of tension, um, just like I do, going um, with the large in the shoulders. So, if you're if you're broad, that you will have a little bit of um, tension in your shoulders. Okay. That baby's so cute. Um, between a small and medium in tops. Um, Daniel, I think you would, especially if the reason if you're between is because of your shoulders. That's where you're going to get the fit. It does have the shoulder pads. You guys can see that's what makes it look so good on your shoulders. It has the shoulder pads um, in there. They can be, nope, they cannot be removed because of the lining. They're inside the line on there. Um, stay in your normal size. If you're between sizes, not broad shouldered, you can go down. I'm between sizes. I'm broad shouldered, and I did go down, and I am a little tight. Okay, but I still would wear, I still wear this size. Any other questions on this one? Let's move on to, what am I up on next? The, oh, finally, the Wild Fields Maxi Skirt. Um, I need, to, we have to give all the credit to, <laughs> to Amanda on this one because this was such a late development, such a late ad. You guys um, sold out our Wild Fields Maxi skirt from the spring just a few months ago. Okay, remember I was in the white. I feel like, I feel like I wish I could just show you a photo of that one, right? So trigger your memory. Sold out super fast. You guys loved it. You told us very quickly on the VIP page. We want this in more colors. We told you we'll do our best to make it in more colors. Um, and we really, truly did our best. We put our foot, our pedal to the metal, Amanda did, and cranked out this beautiful fall colorway in the Wild Fields maxi skirt. So while the other one looks more spring, has the lighter colors, it's on white, lighter toned, check out the colors in here. Okay, so you've got the fuchsia, you've got mustards and oranges, you have greens, got a little bit of like creamy tones running through here. You even have teals in this floral, okay? You guys know, I've said it before, look at even a little pop of blue right there, that we make the best florals on the planet. We custom make all of our florals. This one Amanda did and spun out the fastest I have ever seen us do a development in a skirt. So same fit, same style, same length, same everything. The only thing um, that we did differently is that I think we slightly increased the waist a little bit on the extra small. The extra small um, waist came in a little bit tighter than we preferred on the previous one. Um, and so we made sure the factory made that extra. They actually missed our spec with what we asked them for on the last one. We made sure that we they hit it um, in making this one. So it's just a little bit not as snug, um, which, is, which is great for this. It's a full length skirt. It's long, it's dramatic. It's fabulous, and I'm gonna stink and put it on, even if I have to put it on over these jeans, because it really, really is so great. <laughs> we'll see how crazy I can get with the try on, right? Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, look at that. Look, you wouldn't even be able to tell I have jeans on, right? Okay, yes, yeah, so the waist is a little bit, is, is more comfortable. It's definitely more comfortable in the extra small than what it was last year, but it's long, it's flowy, it's dramatic, it is perfect with a heel. I've got my favorite boot, my boots on, you can see. I like to wear these higher waisted, which is more at my true waist. Um, I'm 5'5", five five, and it's perfect with a heeled booty. If I was flat, if I was in flats or uh, like a flat, which I wouldn't for fall. I mean, for spring, I would be more gravitated towards wearing like a flip flop or a flat with this. But man, with this type of drama in a skirt, you want to have a nice, fun booty underneath this for the fall. Okay, flowy. It's that chiffon material. It's lined, uh, skirt lined on the underneath, so you can see. 
And then the material, oh, the color of the material yourself is not black. It's like a really dark midnight navy. So it's, I mean, it's close to black. It's close to black, but it's a really, really dark midnight that really goes with all the colors, okay? Isn't it stunning? It is so stunning. I can think of probably 10 jackets and 10 cardigans that we have or have coming that you have in your closet that will look fabulous over this, okay? Denim jacket, color jacket. I'm just gonna start talking. Let's, let's bring the girls up. They're gonna come out. Or if you don't want a jacket, just pair it with a nice long sleeve top. So we just released this one in the magenta color. Pulling in from the pink from here, she's pulling out one of those colors. You have all the colors to work with in here for the season that really, I mean, even me in the olive, I would wear olive with this. There's green in here, okay? So it's gonna give you a million options. You wanna, let the sh you wanna let the skirt just do its own speaking, go neutral on top, okay? You have every option. You could do this with sweaters. You could, I mean, endless opportunities, okay? Small on you? Small, small, her normal size, small. I'd stay in your normal size in this unless you're between. If you're between, um, I would say you can go down, especially now with the extra small, um, feeling a little bit more comfortable in the waist, okay? Okay, next up in this one. Okay, Natalie, here's what I was gonna say. If there's going to be tons of colors that you can work with this. You can layer with light jackets, you can do denim. So she's got the mustardy tank on that we just released in the ripped and she has our linen, our linen jacket on, which is fabulous for this look as well. Normal size, medium, medium in this, medium in the skirt. Okay. Could you roll, um, yes, you can roll the waistband if you wanted to. Yes, you can, short that, you can shorten that by rolling and picking up that hemline. The other thing is, you guys, if you needed this to be altered, if you're on the shorter side, this is not um, a complicated hem. So if you needed um, to shorten it, you can easily have this one hemmed um, to shorten that up, but you can roll that, especially if you um, put a belt over it. You could probably even roll it twice, and as long as you had a belt, a belt to haul it. Or roll it inside. Um, or roll it inside. Who just, look at that. Yeah, go that direction. See? Twice. Yeah. I miss you. Can you come back? <laughs> I need another, I need my other half of my brain back. Amanda's, Amanda's my other half of my brain. <laughs> um, roll it that direction and then you really start to, to start to pick it up. Okay. All right. Next, uh, Michelle in this. Oh, cute. Okay. Don't layer. Don't do multi layers. Just grab a top that looks cute with it. Pulling out kind of this little burnt orange in the flower right there and then having that detail work with the buttons and the collar on that. That looks fabulous. Normal size, large. And Amanda in the extra large. And she's layered up too with the, um, with a moto jacket. I love me a good moto jacket and that's the perfect skirt to do with it. So she chose to do the um, purple, the deep purple rib tank. And then she's got the blush, the blush jacket, which pulls out a little, there is that pink. I don't think I showed you. There is a little bit of pink in here. And then she's in her normal size, extra large. Okay. You gotta <laughs> do a spin. Okay, it's, it's so good. It is so good. This is, see that blushy? Hold on. I forget I have jeans, so I can really do this. There's blushing pink in through the flower, the neutral flower in here. Look at, and then here's where you get, you can even pull in that little bit. If you've got our, um, who's got our rib tank in the teal, in the denim, denim color? <laughs> that would also work on this. All right, any other questions on this? Last but not least, we do have um, some little, the little fashion belts that you see on the models. Um, this is a great style to pair with our work pants. If you don't want a big chunky belt, um, to have the little kind of skinny belt type of situation um, to go around and just give you that one belt security to, uh, you know, look um, with your work pants. Black and what do we call this one? Sand in a sand color and in a snake. So great option for this is wearing with like that work pant and then doing a blazer, doing the blazer and maybe just having a white cami underneath and you get that pop, um, you get that pop of pattern running through um, the uh, belt loops. Okay, yes, Laurel, the blush tank. I, I, I would bet, I would bet in your closet, um, you could easily, every one of you, <laughs> could easily find at least five things in your closet that uh, works with this, that matches, that works with the colors in here. They're, the colors are right on for fall, offering that pop. Amanda did her magic work 
Okay. Um, and I mean, or yeah, or grab something that if you want to pull out. I have the olive on. This is also olive too, but a little bit more towards the greener side. And that pulls out the green in here. Anyway, okay. I'm done talking now. That is it. Uh, huge launch. So thank you for listening for me for doing so long and tuning in. Um, I will be out for 10 days. Okay, we're taking a trip to Italy uh, for, um, We've, we've been to Italy. We've been to Italy and we were taking our best friends uh, just had their 20 year wedding anniversary and they asked us to take them. I have not been, Rick and I have not been since 2010. So it's been like 13 years since we've been. Um, so, so we're very, very excited. And this is my first like truly out of the country <laughs> experience um, since owning Grace and Lays. This is like long before even um, having kids that we, we went and took a trip like this. So um, there will be a launch next week and we are gonna do our very best <laughs> With me being gone, we're going to try to um, record some of these things that we think are launching. The team's going to sort it. Obviously, this a lot of this stuff arrives next week in time for the lunch on Friday. So we will have a whole crew here. We'll have the team trying on stuff. You'll have me as much as possible. So we're going to try to um, still have a normal-ish launch like we always do. Um, but I will be many hours away in a different a different time zone. So um, anyway, very excited, very excited about it. But we will, there will be a launch next week, whether I'm here or not, <laughs> whether I'm live on it or not. Um, and it'll be a good one. So we'll see you then. Um, if you want to follow along on my Italian uh, countryside adventures, <laughs> um, I'll try to post some on Instagram. I'm not on Instagram much um, at all, actually. But um, I do like documenting our trips, and this one we have very exciting because we're staying at our friends have a castle um, outside of Siena, like from like BC times. Okay, so um, anyway, we are. Um, that's it. Signing off, and we will see you. I will see you from Italy, and we will see you next week with next week's launch. Bye bye.